welcome to your Friday edition of The Huddle. I'm your host, Britt Johnson, with your boy here. What's going on, guys? Matt Demecki. So um, we're actually going to be talking more about Connor and Mayweather because that's really the only thing that's been going it's on been in sports this week. It's been too much fun this week. It's been too much no fun. No NFL, no MLB, no NBA, no NHL. So yeah, no, it's, it's all, all boxing today. So it's yes. all good. So um, we are actually going to be addressing the comments that um, Connor made uh, that people thought were racist. Now, first uh, was this that he said. I'm half black from the belly button down. And then he wanted to address people saying that he was racist because of those comments, and he decided to say this. And just so that, just to show that that's squashed, here's a little present for my beautiful black female fans. All right. Um, do you think that made it even more racist by him doing that? Um, I think he's at that line, but I I wouldn't go so far as to call him racist. You know, he's he's at that line and he's pushing it a little bit. But the thing is, you got to look at it this way. This is all for promotion. You know, they, all they want is money. At the end of the day, all Mayweather and McGregor want is money. I don't even think Mayweather cares about that record, to be honest. Who, Are you joking me it doesn't, right It's now? all about money. If he's making money, who cares? No, he's going down I with just the, feel like he already had, like... He's 49 and 0. Are you telling me that he would not care about that record? I mean, he cares about money more than that record. That, I think that's he all would I'm be saying. real upset if he lost that fight. Th but, Let me tell you I mean, that. I mean, in five minutes later, he won't be upset when he's making 150 mil. I'm sure he's going to buy strippers for the night and be fine that night, but he's yeah. going to be upset. That's his, that's his legacy. It's all for promotion. I'm pretty sure Mayweather's cool with it because they're all in on this. Mayweather promotions, the whole thing this week, was to look as stupid as possible, look as crazy as possible, so people buy that fight. And it's working, because everybody wants to buy the fight now. I think people are gonna buy it regardless, but I wouldn't say that Mayweather doesn't care. I mean, him calling him a boy, you don't think, as a man, as a woman, I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> but As a woman hearing that, I'm extremely offended that he called him boy. And then when he did that little thing about, first of all, I don't know, regardless if you want to call me beautiful or not, but I am a black female, so I am the second half of that for sure. And when he did that, I was way more offended than originally. Like, I was so offended. I was like, why would he do that? That's so, and I yeah. honestly kind of thought he was doing like a head gesture, like, I'm, yeah. I don't know. But I was really offended by it. I think it made him more racist. And we already had, like, I think from the first day when we went mm -hmm. to it on um, that was Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. they had, I think Mayweather as the villain in that instance, and yeah. Connor was like the hero. So why is Connor trying to make himself the villain now? I think it's, it works well if there's a yeah. villain and a hero, but I, I feel like at, by the end of this, Connor's going to be the villain. But I don't think it matters because whoever's hero and whoever's the villain, like people are going to buy it for the hero and the villain. You know, so it, I don't think it matters. They all they want is pay-per-view money. They were even seen on the same jet together. They don't hate so each it's, other. So it's cool to be racist as long as it's for money. No, I'm like I said, I don't think Connor was being racist, but he was pushing it. You know, there's a line that you cross, he hasn't crossed that line. This is if all from promotion. If you're pushing it, aren't you kind of being racist? But you didn't like cross that line. He, in my opinion, he didn't cross that line. Uh, well, he didn't flat out say the N word. Yeah. I guess that's what it takes for for you. No, right? it, okay. No, well, it doesn't. we have we another go. thing besides that, besides Connor taking a huge L for saying that. We have um, our picks on the biggest L's of the week. Matt, who's your biggest L for this week? You know what? I'm gonna have to go with Floyd. My my first L is Floyd <laughs> because here's the reason. It's just that whole all those press conferences this week. He's been sitting back and he's been taking Connor's shit every day. He's unbothered. Day. He's unbothered every day, and he's just sitting there taking it. He's getting booed by the crowd. He's playing he the villain care. role. I just think. I think Floyd's taking like that Like you said, he's getting money. He doesn't care. Boo me all you want. I'm making but more so, than all you guys combined. I mean, he's richer than me, but I'm still giving you that L, man. That should okay, be an honor. Okay, well, my L is going to go to Lonzo Ball for wearing some Kobe's instead of his own shoes. And yeah. then, on top of that, you got, like, I don't know if moted is a thing anymore, but I'm going to bring it back. You got moted by freaking J.J. Watt when he announced he was going to be having some shoes and they were gonna be $400 cheaper, and he actually wears his own shoes. So for you to get like dissed and and get some savage on you by J.J. Watt, who's supposed to be like this yeah. cool, nice guy, like America's guy. I don't think it that's, helped either that's that- That's an L for you, Alonzo. I don't think it helped either that when he played in the big baller shoes, he played like trash, and then <laughs> when he switched up right. the shoes, he finally started gaming it up, but 
But yeah. Well, we want to know what you guys think. Who took the biggest L this week? And was Connor being racist? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next week. Have a good weekend.